here. So today we are going, uh, we're in lesson 12 now, SQL lesson 12, order of execution of a query. So it's now we have an idea of all the parts of a query. We can now talk about how they all fit together in the context of a complete query. So here they're giving us an example of a complete select query. So you have select distinct, then it, it talks about the column aggregation function, uh, which we talked on the last video about that. So if you, if you need to go review that, there's two videos that talk about that subject. And then we have join another table where the group by having order by and the limit. And over here, it's going to go for like, it's a, a very good review. It starts with the from and join. So the from clause and subsequent join uh, are first executed to determine the total working set of data that is being queried. This includes subqueries. This clause, it, it, can, it can cause temporary tables to be created under the, the hood containing all the columns and rows of the table being joined. Then it goes over where, so it, a lot of information here that you can um, look at yourself. Um, definitely would uh, tell people to yeah take a look at this closer and group by and having. A lot of this we went over before, uh, but this is almost like a summary of the whole thing. Distinct is the remaining rows rows with duplicate values in a column mark as distinct will be uh, discarded. So this is to, you know, get the, get those du duplicates basically out of the way. Order by, excuse me, limit offset. So here goes, this is conclusion. Not every query needs to have all the parts we listed above. But a part of why SQL is so flexible is that it allows developers and data analysts to quickly manipulate data without having to write additional code, all just by using the above clauses. So that's why it's important. Okay, so here is the, we're getting into what we're gonna be doing, the exercise. Here are lessons on select queries. Congrats, of making it this far. This exercise will try and test your understanding of queries, so don't be discouraged if you find them challenging. Just try your best. We'll step into the challenge, guys. So, uh, to begin here, we start with the tables. Let me look at the name of this one. So, the ta we got table name movies. And as you can see, the table has a title, director, year, and length in minutes. Then we have another table called box office. And this one contains movie ID, ratings, domestic sales, and international sales. Of course, here, this is what was put in by saying select. Um, let me get, get out of this. Let's start to write something here. So the first question is find a number of movies each director has directed. Okay, so they're wanting find a number of movies each director has directed. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and use one of the clauses which we saw was distinct. So we're going to start with that, distinct. And inside that, we're going to say uh, distinct count, right? Because we're trying to find. And inside that, we're going to uh, go ahead and put director because that's who we're, we're trying to find the number of movies each director has directed. So director. Make sure I'm writing this correctly because it's already something. saying there's no such thing as that. And what I'll do is just take this just as it is. This is really, um, okay. So select distinct and then count. And again, we're using one of this clause from here, distinct. I'm also going to just take this like this just to make sure. And remember what I will do of the remaining rows with duplicate values in the column mark as distinct, it will be discarded. It's distinct. 
distinct, right? All right, so we got select, distinct, and count. And we are doing, and then we're gonna say as total. So right now, right now, when we're using this, this is just for the title of what, what we wanted to say. There's nothing up here. So right now it just says count. So it's just giving us this, but instead of count, we're actually gonna give it a title. So in this one, we're gonna say total movies, right? That's what we're gonna say for the title. total movies and then we are saying <laughs> and directory is in which table on the movies table Right, so this is our table from the movies table. We gave that a comma, and then we're moving on to the next line, and we're going to do the, we're gonna use the other clause that we saw here, which we say group by, and we want it by director. So that's pretty much what they're asking for. So select this thing. Remember, this is to, to take out the duplicates, right? And so here we got, look, total movies, right? Andrew, the two, Brad, two, Brenda, and so on. So it gives you the total of each one. And when, when we grouped it, this is why we get the, the twos and the count. So that's what we did here. So that's how we got um, the answer. And again, all those clauses that you saw that we used are here. So you can say, okay, what's group by? And, you know, look at it. And then this thing we use. Okay. Next one. Let's see what our next challenge is telling us. Uh, it says, find the total domestic and international sales that can be attributed to each director. Okay. So now they're wanting us to find the total domestic and international sales. So here we're going to use, uh, we're gonna leave um, the same one we're gonna use. I think I'm just gonna take all this out. I was gonna leave some in there, but. So we're gonna start with select. And since they're asking for director, so we're gonna start with that as well. So director. Select director. Um, and we are adding, so we're gonna use one of those sum. And then we, of course, are doing domestic sales and international sales, because that's the sum they're asking us to do. So I'll just copy from here, because that's what we need to use those. But much we're just doing some math here. Mm -hmm. Right, so they want to know, the, the question is, find the total domestic and international sales that can be attributed to each director. So we're adding those. And then the rest of the problem we have to do is, and here we're just doing this again to, um, to give it a title. Let's see, what did we use? This, you could also say the total of sales, right? Instead of what I'm doing. This right here could be whatever you wanted to, whatever title you want to give it, because this is just to give that title up there, basically. So then um, to end this, we are, Keep getting it. So where are we getting this from what table? Right? Okay. 
from movies and join because now we're joining the we're joining those two um see so this is what we got so far but of course we're saying find the total domestic international sales that can be attributed to each director so it's not just to one um so for that we're gonna go ahead and say Right, so we're saying movies dot id, and it's going to equal to the box uh, box office. Okay, and then. We're doing what they're asking because they want to buy director. See, right now, it's giving his name is putting like one director here, but we want to say by director, so we're 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 getting them all. See, so this is what they're asking for. They want to. Just trying to move the stops. I took my uh, parentheses. We need that there. Okay. So they're saying select director. We're adding here. This is why it's saying sum. Then uh, this is just our title here. What it gives us here. And then we're saying from the movies table, we're doing an inner join to then bring the other table, which is the box office one. And we're giving it the movies ID. And the reason we're doing that is because if you say movies ID, Right there, movies ID. Base and when I say that, it actually what it means is movies. Right here's the movies table, and then the ID. That's what connects them. Because we're doing that inner join, and then group by director. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you. Um, and. See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye for now.